Because, well, now I have tried both. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to another video. So, as you guys know, I do a lot of different things on this channel. One thing I love to do is to test different products and trends and share my experience with you guys. So in 2019, I tried the Copenhagen Grooming Beard Growth Kit. Make sure to check out that video if you haven't. It'll pop up here or here. I always forget which side. Just remember, this isn't a beard channel, so don't subscribe just for that. In this video, I'll give you a little update on my Copenhagen Grooming gains, which is something a lot of you guys have asked for. And then I'll share my experience with Minoxidil compared to the Copenhagen Grooming Beard Growth Kit. Because, well, now I have tried both. So, and a lot of people want to know the difference between these two. So I hope this video can really help you if you consider getting any of the products. I also put links in the video description for both of them. So my conclusion with the Copenhagen grooming kit and the video I made in 2019 was that I definitely saw an improvement after two months and later after four months as well in another video. Even though my plan was initially to expose them as a scam because, well, I didn't think that it would actually work, which is something I also talk about in that video from 2019. So the first question that a lot of you guys, my followers, have asked about, did I keep the gains from the Copenhagen Grooming Beard Growth Kit or did my beard just return to what it was like before I started using it? Well, I stopped using the kit uh, because I was lazy and I don't normally wear a beard, especially since, you know, even though I've seen a lot of progress, I just feel like it's still not developed enough um, to look properly, so. But to answer the question quickly, the results stayed. The areas where I had weak spots before remained improved a year after, and my general feeling was that the Copenhagen grooming kit was really great at filling out those weak spots I had in my beard. Now, during the lockdown, I got a bit bored, so I wanted to try minoxidil as well mainly so I could uh, make a video like this comparing the two, even though I heard about its side effects. But I was just a bit too curious. So for those of you who don't know, whereas Copenhagen Grooming is a more natural product with the active natural ingredient Capilla Longa, combined with the beard roller, of course. The Minoxidil, on the other hand, is actually a medical treatment originally intended uh, to treat high blood pressure. I know that already sounds a bit dangerous, but it's also used as an effective uh, hair loss treatment. And what some uh, curious uh, guys found out is that you can apply it on your face as well, and then you can actually grow uh, new hairs. But whereas the Copenhagen Grooming Beard Growth Kit comes with zero side effects, the minoxidil side effects can be pretty rough. So I started using minoxidil in January, and the first time I applied the liquid on my face, I could just feel my heart uh, rate increase immediately and I felt a bit lightheaded, but it wasn't that bad and I heard a lot of people saying that that's how it's going to be the first uh, one or two weeks and it wasn't that bad, so I just continued using it once a day, it was uh, once every morning. They recommend that you use it twice a day, but a lot of people have used it once a day with uh, good results. So to minimize the side effects, I did it once a day. After a few months though, I noticed that my face was a lot more bloated than usual. And also I had an almost constant headache uh, every day. Again, with the Copenhagen Grooming Beer Growth Kit, there's literally no side effects. So this had me a bit worried. I also started reading about how minoxidil can cause hair loss. It can cause your head to shed, you know, fall out from the top of your head, which was even more worrying because my hairline has al already started uh, receding as, you know, is very normal as you grow older. I'm 24, so that's very normal, but I didn't really feel like uh, adding something that could speed up that process. In terms of results, the minoxidil definitely worked though. You can see on this picture how my beard just looks a lot fuller than usual. And I even saw new hairs uh, peeking on my chin that I hadn't seen before, which is really my uh, weak spot. And also I took this photo while shaving just for fun. And you know, it almost looks like a pretty decent mustache. So that was all awesome, except for the side effects, which in the end made me stop using it. And that leads me to the worst part, because after I stopped using minoxidil, 
I lost all the gains. The new hairs I grew, they simply fell out. And to no surprise, because the minoxidil companies themselves, they say that it's a lifelong treatment, that you have to keep using it, otherwise your hair will go back to normal when you stop. If you stop, you lose your progress. Some people report though that they don't experience a loss after they stop, but I definitely did. My beard looks exactly how it looked when I started using minoxidil or before I used minoxidil, but at least I still have the gains which I got from the Copenhagen grooming beard growth kit. So now my plan is to start using that again. So to my conclusion, Minoxidil was definitely effective in terms of gaining new beard hairs quickly, but the side effects were bad and you kind of go around worried every day uh, because of the stories about hair loss and all that. Also the fact that you will lose uh, your gains if you stop or at least likely lose your beard gains when you stop makes me not really wanting to recommend it. Also the fact that it's a medical treatment and it can increase your heart rate, cause anxiety, chest pain, weight gain, swelling, even fainting as well if you're very unlucky, makes me have to say that I cannot recommend minoxidil. The beard growth kit from Copenhagen Grooming though is a much safer option. It's a tiny bit more expensive, but as I mentioned before as well, it has no side effects. I feel like it does take longer to see progress with the Copenhagen Grooming Kit compared to the Minoxidil, but at least the results stay after you stop using it. So. so again, I hope this video could answer some of the questions that I see a lot of people have. Check out the links in the video description if you want to learn more about the products. Make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey.